हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक दिस वीडियो लेक्चर इज योर कंटिन्यूस सीरीज ऑफ योर सी एन सी मशीन एंड ऑटोमेशन सब्जेक्ट दिस लेक्चर इज टू बी टेकन ऑन एट्थ ऑफ अप्रैल एंड योर लेक्चर टाइमिंग इलेवन टू ट्वेल्व सो वट इज द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज डिस्कशन इज दीज आर द टू टॉपिक्स कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ फ्लेक्सीबल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सिस्टम एंड कंपेरिजन ऑफ फ्लेक्सीबल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सिस्टम विद अदर सिस्टम्स in the last class we uh, just started about the flexible manufacturing system and we have checked out where we have where we can implement those uh, flexible manufacturing systems and what are the uh, advantages of the flexible manufacturing system and what are the types of the flexible manufacturing system so i hope you have understood what is a flexible manufacturing system and today uh, we are going to discuss about the components of flexible manufacturing system if i would go into the detail that there are five major components of the FMS. FMS stands for Flexible Manufacturing System. So uh, onwards now, I use only the FMS. So the first five, the five major components are workstations, material handling systems, layout configurations, computer control system, and human resources. Although human resources are used very less, but yes, there are some human resources are available. Humans are available in the FMS. So we're we'll starting from the very basic. the workstation workstations are your actual machines on which the production is going on clear like he says that machining stations or cnc machines in fms your workstations or your machines would definitely be cnc or if it is more advanced it will be dnc but it cannot be any kind of conventional machine over there so the first component of fms is a workstation which is completely automated and that will be your cnc those are called loading and unloading stations even some machines are those in which the parts are loaded automatically and unloaded automatically correct so that was your first component which is your workstations second is material handling systems there are two kind of material handling system if i go into the detail the first one is primary handling second one is secondary handling system so what is a primary move work parts between this station in a system so let's say if you are having 10 machines in a row so material raw material entered in the first machine then moving from first to second machine means first work station to the second work station that movement is called your primary handling because why it is called primary handling because in this case the time taken from one machine to second machine it just hamper your production rate that's why it is a primary handling system and we need to control it firstly that's why it is called primary it's a prime important second is your secondary handling system consist of transfer devices automatic pallet change similar mechanism located at workstation so beside the movement of your material from one machine to second machine there are some material handled on to the machine like your pallet change pallet change means your workstation changes like first component is complete now second is to be entered so at that time that is called your secondary handling how it is loaded into the machine that is called your secondary handling system the primary is moving from one machine to the second machine and secondary is within the machine how it is handling so consist of transfer devices which is transferring the job or the material outside the machine to load the machine then unload the finished part that is your secondary handling system the next is your layout configuration the third part is your layout configuration there are four major types of uh, layouts so we'll discuss one by one so inline and loop layout you might be knowing very well about these two because we have we have studied too much about these what are these inline inline are those in which your machines are stationed or your work stations are in a single line and loop layout in a circular form so these two are basic very basic and you have already studied them then the next one is your letter layout so this is quite a discussing topic because the letter layout is used when your industry is manufacturing the lighter products let's say the uh, plastic products or maybe the uh, uh, textiles so in that case the your letter layout to be used why when the space is less so the industry is not you know spread it on to the ground but it is on to a building it's a tall building so in that case how your layout is to be suggested that is called your ladder layout if you see this image 
what you can see it's a starting work part so your work parts are going to the first floor then to the second floor then to the third floor and to the fourth floor so when it is finished so it will coming back to the ground floor and completed part would be out so that is a one or maybe in a second case you just started from this side moving was first second and coming out to the other side so in that case you can use both ways the letter layout can be used so it is used on those places where the space is less the company is not spread it onto the ground it is in a vertical tall building so that letter layout to be used over there then the next one is your robot centered cell so what is a robot centered cell robot centered cell in which the placement of your uh, machines are according to the robot like in this image if you see in this image the robot is a centered one correct the robot can perform two functions like it is an input buffer means product is taken fed it to the machine one correct similarly product is taken fed it to the machine two then when the machine is finished its operation this robot centered cell or the robotic arm will take out the finished part from machine one and put into the output buffer similarly from the machine two the finished part would be put into the output buffer so in this case the machine layout is set according to the robot it is not according to the space or anything else but it is located according to the robot centered cell so that the robot can perform its maximum efficiency so these are the four types of the layout which we can use in the fms so first one is uh, your inline second one is your loop layout third one is your letter layout and the fourth one is your robot centered cell so there are four types so these are the three points we have already uh, discussed about it the workstations the material handling system and layout configuration now the fourth point is the computer control system this is the major important part of an of a fms flexible manufacturing because every process you know every process is controlled by computer only so first thing he says that what computer is controlling these are discussing only eight point but there there are many more point but these are quite effective and efficient point and important point the first one is workstation control workstation controls means your cnc cnc is completely controlled through your computer and you know it that every every process or every operation in this it is controlled by the program so it is computer then distribution of control instructions to the workstation if you are using the dnc machine a single computer mainframe computer can control all of your machines available in the workshop so that is distribution of the control instruction means it can give the instruction to a limited uh, machines or the all to the machines so it is controlled by the computer then the production control means number of parts produced or variety produced it is controlled by the computer you just put the data and it will tell you how much time it will how much time it will take to produce these kind of the product according to the capacity then there, there are two points traffic control and shuttle control the both are different the traffic control means how many uh, agvs are moving uh, agvs uh, are moving in the workstation so controlling so that the every agv uh, automatic guided vehicle can easily do its function and efficiently correct so it controls so there are no uh, large number of agvs are running onto the floor so it is controlling the traffic second is shuttle control shuttle control means your each agv is controlled by computer first is traffic is controlled all and even every agv is controlled by the computer then the tool control tool location tool life monitoring means your uh, inventory kind of a thing so it tool location where the tool is already there uh, it is uh, placed and how much time is left and when it is purchased when it is used who used it so it is controlled everything then the performance monitoring performance monitoring means whether much mach some machines want some kind of uh, maintenance correct or maybe some fault is there correct so it is performance every uh, machine is checked for the performance then the next one is diagnostic so if your fms if in any system in your within the your industry if any system is facing any problem so it is self checking so diagnostics means self checking so computer can do it it can give you the uh, uh, probable suggestions like if some machines are not working it will show you some messages kind of a thing like this could be, could not be working this could not be working so you can find it the through the diagnostics and the last one is human resources so although your system is completely uh, 
computer controlled humans are needed in there for what purposes like he says that loading and unloading work parts even at some places your loading is and unloading is done by the humans only second is tool setting and changing if tool is change if tool is you know worn out computer can tell you that it is worn but who will change it so it is the human who will change it third one is maintenance repair of the equipment computer can tell you the problems but it cannot solve it by itself so maintenance is required then programming every system is controlled through program computer system is controlled through program and that programming is done by a human being so the human is needed over there now the next one is overall management overall management of your machines your material your inventory and uh, your human also it is controlled by the human resource management so these are the five components of your fms in which we are uh, discussed about the uh, very first thing which is workstations your machines then your material handling systems for primary and secondary material handling layout your inline then your radial or loop layout or maybe you can say the letter layout then the robot centered so then there is a computer control system which control many things and the last one is human resources so these are the components of your fms then the next topic is what are the benefits of fms what are the benefits benefits means your quality would be good the number of uh, the variety would be more labor cost would be reduced the system is completely flexible and lesser number of machines are used why lesser number of machines are used because if your machines are efficiently used effectively used so you need less numbers yeah it is true and reduction in floor space floor space if machines are reduced the floor space would be reduced even correct so manufacturing lead time less time would be there and reduce inventory requirement so it can your computer can easily guess how much time it would take to finish this product and you can manage your inventory accordingly so these are the benefits and the last topic is comparison which is quite important comparison so in this system there are five different kind of uh, manufacturing systems are shown so i will start from this graph if if you can see on the x axis there's a variety on the y axis there's a volume so it's a graph between volume and in between you can see there are five systems which are used when they are to be used so if this is a dedicated equipment dedicated means a single purpose equipment so you can see this dedicated equipment is having one or two variety variety is one or two means very low variety but their production volume is too too well, too large correct so if i would say the next system is special system special system is used for a special operations there even their uh, variety varies from the low to medium range but they yes as the variety increases their production is lesser as compared to your dedicated so if i see the standard and conventional machinery correct which means uh, the lathe machine which you are using in your workshops or in uh, normal shops correct they are conventional machinery they are having the variety you can change them or uh, um, although the time taken is very less very large sorry but still they are having higher variety but the production volume is very very less and this is a manufacturing cell that we cell system we use then a single cell or uh, multiple cell manufacturing system we use that to, that is called your manufacturing cell so in that case your variety is medium to high and similarly uh, although on the opposite side your volume is comparatively less but the best suited is your flexible manufacturing system this one because it is having a medium range of variety and medium range of production so if you wanted to produce the batch production if you wanted to use for the batch production this system is the flexible manufacturing system is best suited for you correct so this is the comparison graph between the five different manufacturing system correct and which one is required which it is not like like if your dedicated equipment is wrong or your standard conventional machinery is wrong it is not nothing is wrong in this but yes whatever your application is you can use any of this system correct so nothing is wrong but it is a comparison that when we can use the dedicated when we can use the flexible and when we can use the standard and conventional machinery so it is depending upon your application correct so this is all about today and if you wanted to check my other videos you must subscribe this channel tiny steps and you would see your previous lecture and upcoming lectures on this
channel only.